Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we are sharing something special to everyone as we okay, have created a wonderful um, candle that we work okay, uh, hard as hand poured and very few is only available. This is our candle for a cause. Um, our candle for a cause, um, uh, it's a the, the proceeds of this candle, 50% of it goes directly to the Sheldrick Wildlife, Wildlife Trust, okay? Now, the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust, can I, can I be cash? Okay, I'm just going to read it. Okay. I can't do this, okay? Sheldrick Wildlife enhances all, okay, the measures that complement the conservation and preservation of the protection of wildlife. This include okay, um, anti-poaching efforts, uh, safeguarding the natural environment, enhancing community awareness, addressing animal welfare and issues, um, providing veterinary assistance to animals in need, and rescuing and uh, hand-rearing orphaned elephants, rhinos, and other species so that they can ultimately enjoy a quality of life in the wild. Okay. So this candle that we've made, um, that we are going to, we are going to be donating 50% of it, okay, to the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. They have been protecting and rescuing orphan elephants since 1977. All right. Um, now, if I were to connect this into what we call in the metaphysical community, um, this is when we donate to charity, okay, as far as like remedy. Um, when we do things for others selflessly, then we are able to work some of our, you know, karmas in our life. So hopefully when you get this candle, um, it, uh, it will help you manifest things okay, that you have been working on. It is hand poured and 100% soy candle together with um, citrine crystals. And of course, it comes with a lovely, lovely vessel. All right. So for everybody who wants to help okay, the elephants in Kenya, okay, I know it's in Kenya, the elephants there, um, you, are able, you are able now to um, go down there in the description box below and do check it out. And I wish you guys many blessings. This is also citrine and saffron. I know you guys have been waiting for when can we help the elephants. Well, today is the day, Hilda. So get yours now. Now let's proceed with your reading. Love it how you love me electric like you do. Love it how you love me electric always you. Right, Aquarius, so don't forget, um, make sure you get your manifestation candle for um, our charity for um, the Saving the Elephant through um, the Sheldrick Wildlife Trust. Okay, I was just have to read it so that I don't, I don't not, you know, make invention of whatever. <laughs> okay, so anyhow, let's begin. Let me just put this. All right, we're getting settled here. We're getting settled. So sit down, sit down, Aqua, you're rocking the boat. Okay, so let's not rock the boat, but we're definitely going to rock this reading together with Tarot Grand La. Okay, La. It makes me feel more, you know, bougie. Okay, uh, pasochal. Okay, here, <laughs> Grand La. Grand Lux, I think. All right. Oh, am I using that? Yeah, for the Tarot. But I'm also using the New Orleans um, Oracle. Lately, this is what I feel, okay, what I'm using. Speak the tr speak your truth and the peace and self care, which means like your body is telling you something, and it's about you voicing out what you need to to express to the world, not just to the person. Okay, um, 
um, this is gonna help you and help others when we're being true to ourselves you know we're doing others a favor because we're if we're a person who lives in denial then it's going to be difficult for other people to un- other people to understand us so people who are real you know who can really accept them for who themselves then it's easy you may look weird okay everybody's weird that's the thing but everybody tries to be normal there is no normal we're all different there's no one alike basically so how can you be the same as that person when you know it's like when in in a society where tribe is important to to match kind of thing you know like even in spirituality i'm pretty sure there's a tribe that we try to fit in like if you're a you know person who does yoga then you should be cool calm and collected zen like every time no i've seen moms okay, who does yoga it does challenge you know so accept it you are different okay and this is the truth you have to speak yourself share that uh, you know genuine self to the world so once you're genuine you know then it's easy for people to either understand you or just don't mind you, right? Because okay. it will help you, is what I feel. All right. That's right, for me, I'm just living myself over here, you know? I like to sell products. Why would I pretend? So make sure you buy all my merchandise. Thank you. Okay. Um, so you see here, there are lucky uh, feng shui elephants also. I'll talk about it at the end. And we'll start with your tarot, okay? Let's see. I already shuffled this, guys. But let me shuffle. There is a mosquito. Okay. There's a mosquito. <laughs> How real that is. I would really kill it on front of the camera. Because <laughs> it was flying. Go away. Okay. You have ten of wands. Um, ten of wands is a, of course, as a burden. Right? You're feeling right now like, oh my god, this is just so difficult. I don't know what to do with the ten of wands. Um, you're letting go. Well, you have to let go. Um, because every day is just going to be difficult. Every day is going to be such a challenge for you. Um, this is about taking responsibility for others. This is about uh, saying yes and not being able to say no. Because you feel like if you say no, then, you know, like, it, feel, it makes you feel bad. Okay. But do you feel good right now? No. So make sure you say no. Because <laughs> if you feel good saying yes to everyone, then that's good. But right now, if you are looking like this like a stress ball without even being squeezed yet, <laughs> then darling, learn to learn the art of saying no. Not the art of don't giving an F, the art of saying no, all right? So do I, have I practiced this? I think I'm learning for me and my end. I think I'm learning how to say no and I'm learning to say triple yes for every no. <laughs> okay, here we go. You have the sun card. In order for us to embrace okay, the wonderful energy of the sun, you know, as far as like healing, we have to accept, because the sun is healing, right? We have to accept situations, right? This is about, uh, you know, meeting someone eye to eye and accepting like, you know what? I need some time to heal. Ten of Wands, like you're overburdened by a lot of responsibility. And you got to tell these other people like, listen, okay, I need this space to heal, which is the sun. Um, the sun is the healing, ten of wands, like letting go. So you let go, you allow the sun to come in. Um, for others, this, of course, this is your partner because you have seventh house in Leo, so which means for aqua ascendant. Um, you know, right now the iris is still, uh, I mean, the sun is still exalted. So chances are there's a strong prominent person who is Leo in your life who wants to show up and tells you, it's like, listen, aqua, I do feel this for you. And this is someone declaring their feelings. Now, it does involve a person from the past, considering that temperance is here, which only means that a reconciliation that you probably have let go is about to manifest. The temperance here shows that you are cool, calm, collected. You know, you're being, uh, yeah, well, in a, in a way, patient. You're considering this person right now from the past. So wherever you have let go, right now you're saying, it's like, excuse me. Right now, you are saying that, um, you know, like we can make it work, but we got to meet each other in the middle, understand what the situation is, what the core problem is, because I feel like the core problem is actually you. You have been catering to them. Let's just be honest. You have been saying yes to them nonstop. So if it's a kid, isn't it like you raise a spoiled child? You know what they say, spare the rod, spoil the child, right? Um, but right now it's a different generation anymore. So some people won't believe that. For an adult, I feel like you got to hit this person with a rod. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I don't care. Okay. They better learn their lesson. You can see that. Okay. But we don't promote violence over here. A little bit tap here and there. Why not? You know. <laughs> How is it again to tap like that? Okay. King of Swords. You see that? Mm-hmm. So that's you. 
You're determined to see the truth and the clarity of the situation because it's been difficult. Um, you're actually more right now. I feel like the two of you have started to have conversation. Um, you're telling this person also that you want something more than just what you guys have. You want them to have an understanding that there should be a direction, that this love that you guys have for each other, and if it's going to work, there has to be a goal. There has to be what we call an eight of wands. Okay? So you want it to go far. You want it to go long. You want it to go forever. So you don't play. Okay? You have the moon, which is the luminaries. Now, I would see this is the first, what, eclipse that is happening. Um, I believe the first eclipse is happening in Scorpio, Sidereal Vedic Astrology, which is actually this May, a couple of days. Um, I'm not talking about the one in June. Uh -huh. um, I feel like there will be a breakthrough in, you know, in this cycle that you guys... Um, that you guys have been dealing with. Okay, because the sun over here and the moon, it feels like, uh, you know, like things that you've never thought that you would express to them. Things that you you felt like, you know what, I'm just going to keep it to myself. It's it's way much better that way and, you know, it works. Um, it's showing here that you want to air it out. It feels like the burden has to be, you know, expressed to this person. They need to understand where you're coming from. And you just basically want truth and clarity. The moon is dark, the sun is bright, so you want everything done in the dark to be out. Now, of course, there will be some secrets with the moon that's going to come out also right now. There's going to be something that they've hid from you that just resurfaces. Now, it can be with the moon also is that you're, you're, you know, like you're trying not to be as emotional as possible because you're a king of swords right here. So you're trying to be more, um, you know, more intellect. The way that you want to deal with this with this situation, because it's after the breakup. If it's after the burden of ten of ones, it's gonna be a little bit challenge. So you would need to ask this person, like, listen, okay? Because you're you're trying to fix this with a temperance. This is how we can fix this, and this is how it's gonna go. Now, considering that the moon is your last card, I feel like this person doesn't understand clearly, okay, what you meant by that. So now it has left you with more burden because there's no response. There's no active movement on their end. And it's only you who made the effort, even for the conversation. Okay? So I'm going to continue this reading, guys. Link down there in the description box below. Make sure you collect, okay? These are the lucky feng shui elephants. So it comes rose quartz, yellow carnelian. Okay, so it's very cute. You can check it out at eatreadlove.me. All right, you guys can see it. Okay, well, it doesn't want to focus. Weird. The camera's acting weird. Okay, but it is rose quartz. We got tiger's eye. We got obsidian. We got amethyst. We got the works. All right. So, um, oh, also, I forgot. Aqua. This one is available back again in stock. Your um, golden, um, you know, uh, coin pendant. Okay, by Zodiac. So do check it out. I'm wearing one right now. So each Zodiac gets it. Okay, so this is uh, this is the length of how it is, and you know me, I'm I'm pretty tall, I I stand six foot one. Okay, depends if I'm laying down. Okay, <laughs> but yeah, so this is how long it is. So definitely a must have for your zodiac. All right, something that represents you, something that's dear to you. All right, so I'll continue this reading as you finally see the truth with this person, what they're hiding, because the moon is hiding right now, and you want everything done in the dark to be shown to you because if you're reconciling with me then you better tell me the truth and only the truth that's what it is i'll see you guys again and don't forget also your charity candles candle for a cause i'll see you guys again bye <laughs>